the Kingdom of Bahrain handicap is next 0 to 75, 2 mile 1 furlong. And there's three runners Piper Niven, Matt Cooper, Old Star Daddy, Alex Cherry, and Fondant Fancy for Matt Cooper. So, Matt, probably only one watching because Alex Cherry's probably had to do something to put this together. They're away and racing. You might be watching the Alex anyway. There's the two of you. So, one of you's going to win. Well, maybe both of you will win because it could be a dead heat, I suppose. Quite sure why all these day three races are on day two this week. I think Nick Driver might have just handed an envelope over to Mr. Clutterbuck. Anyway, Fondant Fancy is in the lead on Paper Niven, or Piper Niven even, in second. And then Stardelli, the grand old man of the flat league, in third. And Fondant Fancy is clear. Piper Niven second, Stardelli third. There's two more weeks to go after this. And a pretty unbalanced sort of season in my mind. Some races with huge fields, and we've had lots of races with really small fields. The two year old races in particular, the group races have been really undersubscribed. I think everybody's scared to enter them because they know they're going to get walloped with a handicap mark, and oh, they're not going to get the handicap mark moved because it seems to be a thing this year that the handicapping the group races they just seem to stay where they are. But it's fond and fancy in the lead, Piper Niven is second, we'll move them down just a little bit. Start only the back marker of the three, and a win earlier in the season. I wonder if he'll be back next season for another season. Fondant Fancy in the lead then. Piper Niven second. Matt Cooper had a really good season as well on both codes. Oh, well, Alex hasn't had quite such a good season though, as usual, especially on the jumps. He's picked up a little bit lately, and old Star Daddy got him a win on a flat a few weeks ago. Fondant Fancy and Piper Niven are well clear with a mile to go. Start only back in third. Fondant Fancy is in front. Not a great deal going on. Well, most of the horses who would have run in this have probably gone over the all weather to try and get into the final so I'm not quite sure why there's a need for this race this week to be honest Maybe these are the sort of things that we need to look at in a closed season just go through week by week and look at the races that have been undersubscribed and maybe change the criteria if there's a major reluctance to take them out altogether personally I think we can take a few out we don't need all the bonus races anymore Quite a few could get conditions changed. But it's me they're talking about changing the distance of the Irish Derby. So the Irish, in the real terms of the Irish Derby, they're thinking about changing the distance of that. And we can certainly change some of our races in SO7 without worrying about it. Stardelli's hit the front with two furlongs to go. Piper Niven is struggling and his way off. And it looks like Fond and Fancy is also struggling as well now. And this is going to be. A bit of a penalty kick for Stardelli by the looks of it. If he can last home. Alex Cherry's star horse this year. Everybody's favourite old timer. Stardelli up towards the line. Makes it second win of the season. On Fond and Fancy second and Pop and Niven third. And there you go. Stardelli. Oh, Alex Cherry. He's the winner. Fondant Fancy was second for Matt Cooper and Pompadour for Matt Cooper was third. Actually, they were all fillies, those. All mares. And Stardelli is a, a mare. I was calling her him earlier. But there you go. Stardelli takes it at nine years old. Is that the oldest winner we've ever had in a flat nine?